what's up my name is Kay Ramos from well journaled vlog this is my channel where I share tips to help you gain clarity and purpose as you get closer to Jesus today I am so excited to, to do this video actually because I've been itching and dying to do this project I'm about to share with you today but before that I would like to thank everyone who subscribed to my channel I always remind myself that it's not about the numbers but of course as a human being it warms my heart that you guys are joining me in this journey so in celebration of my 3k subscriber mark i know that's not a lot but it means a lot to me i would like to throw a simple giveaway so be sure to stick until the end of the video to see how you guys can join now let's go back to the topic. So last year I shared a video of me creating a war binder, faith binder, or prayer binder, however you want to call it. Well, I am going to do another one today. If you have not seen that video, check it out because it's filled with information about how to start a war binder that I will not go into detail here. So I will link it down in the description box below. Okay, so like I said, I am going to create another war binder today. Well, first of all, why? What's wrong with my present faith or war binder? Um, I believe that as we grow, some things in our lives also need to adapt to the changes. So in my first video, I mentioned that I chose to use a smaller binder because of portability. And of course, I have a cute binder that I wanted to reuse at that time. It's here! It's here! Oh my gosh! Finally, I can repurpose it. So I like to use the half letter size binders because they're portable. You can easily carry them. You can bring them anywhere you want. You can put them in your bag if you want. So, but if you want to use a letter size binder, go ahead. But as time went by, I saw some limitations. First, I don't really bring my war binder outside, especially since I don't go out often lately. So size won't really matter if I only use it at home. Second limitation, which is the main reason why I am redoing my war binder is this. It's hard to find printables that cater to the size I have. Most of them are US letter size, whether I buy them or whether I get them for free. Sometimes if I really like a printable, I have to resize it, which takes time to format. Then when I print it, it doesn't turn out as well. It either gets cut off on the corner or other issues, so it really becomes so annoying and it wastes paper and ink. So if you are considering making your own, learn from my experience to decide on what size you're having first, okay? So it always depends on what you want to accomplish and when and where are you going to use it. With that said, come and join me as I remake my war binder. Of course, we need a binder to begin with. This is the only binder I have available at home, so I'm going to use it for now. I can change it to a thicker one or bigger one eventually if I need to. I actually made war binder templates, which by the way are also available in my shop in, in case you guys want to support me. And to save some time, please check them out. I will link it down in the description box below. Okay, the hardest part is choosing the design. You guys, which one should I choose? Again, I sell digital printables of these templates. Uh, depending on when you are watching this, I will offer a limited time for the physical version of these templates. I had them printed from a commercial printing shop, so the color is really crisp and vivid. And they're also printed on cardstock paper. For the digital printable, if you buy the set, you will also have three different sizes. US letter size, half letter size, and I think classic planner size.
I choose this one just because I like plants and something botanical. I love it. So as you can see here, there are different categories. I categorize them this way because I would like to document the areas I need to improve on. 
So it doesn't mean that I have to fill in each category each time I use my binder. Sometimes if I see or read something that is related, then I clip it and then I put it under a certain category. this is it <laughs> my war binder faith binder or prayer binder i'm so excited to use it hopefully this could help me in my faith journey thank you so much for watching and thank you for sticking up to this end again as my way of appreciation to everyone who subscribed to me and of course to everyone watching right now i would like to share some blessings so one of you can win a war binder physical version just like this and some surprise goodies so you can choose the design you want and then even personalize it with your name so it is already a printed version and all you need to do is assemble it in your own binder of course you have to buy a binder which is you by the way you can buy for a dollar there are a lot of uh, binders from Dollar Tree. For the physical binder, however, it's only open to U.S. residents because shipping internationally is a little bit complicated. But don't worry for my international people out there. You can have the chance to win the printable version. To join, comment down below on how Warbinder can help you in your faith journey. For additional entries, follow us on Instagram and see how you can join there. We will have one major prize. And of course, two consolation prizes. I will announce the winners here and on Instagram. So be sure to check us out there. I will put our social handles right here. Or in the description box below. You guys, thank you, so, thank you so much for watching. And it means a lot to me that you are joining me here in this channel. Again, this is Kay Ramos. See you guys again next time. Love you with the love of Jesus. Bye-bye.